Hello everybody! It's, it's a weekend, which means we're working. <laughs> and you're here for the weekend of sales. Never to the left. Aww, oh, that car full of jack of you. All right, so today, Saturday, July 17th, um, we had a really good day today, which is good because we had a slow start to the week, so finishing the week strong is good for us. Um, yeah, we sold a lot, and we sold some pretty high dollar uh, items as well, so good stuff there. Starting off with this, it's Goofy and his phone. For those of you that don't know, this is a phone, an old phone, and you put it to your ear like this, and you dial with that. There's no Facebook on this phone, or Instagram, or TikTok, or anything like that. It's just a phone. <laughs> you plug it into the wall. Anyways, uh, yeah, vintage Goofy Telephone, uh, we're pretty upset because he doesn't work. Um, we're not sure about the phone part, but apparently this, he wakes up whenever the phone rings. So, and that, this mechanism is not functioning anymore. So, we only sold it for what we paid for at $25. Well, I'm sorry, no, we paid $20 for it, so we, we sold it for $25. Plus, him. next up, we got some uh, plates. These are Crate and Barrow Tondo round plates. They're wooden appetizer plates is essentially what they are um, and we have um, 10 of them here so a stack of 10 of these crate and barrel stuff sells for really good money um, you guys see it out there I'm telling you just grab it $32 for the plates here plus shipping these are going to go right here because I'm just going to fall over if I put them anywhere else next up these took forever to sell and we thought we had something here and this is one of those things where you just you think you've got something that people are going to want and nobody wants it. Um, these are vintage Mickey uh, sweaters. So from the 1980s roughly, this is Mickey Mouse basketball. Uh, still smells like old person house. <laughs> We've tried everything to get this odor off of these sweaters um, and it's just not happening. It is part of the sweater at this point. So, um, we paid $25 a piece for these, and uh, at this point we're just getting rid of them. $30 plus shipping for the Mickey sweater. Again, we really thought we had something with those. We did sold comps and everything and saw sweaters similar to it selling for $50 to $75. Nothing. We just couldn't give them away. Um, next up is a Yankee Candle right here. This is a Yankee Candle Midnight Jasmine. Uh, small tumbler, $14.80. Free shipping on that. Remember that cooler that Sarah got at that thrift store uh, last week's video. This is the Golf Pack Cooler. It's like a little golf bag that's also a cooler. It's pretty cool. I thought this, I was fairly certain this was going to sell easily, and it did $22.40 plus shipping. We paid five bucks for it. Next up, back here. Sean, you're going crazy. You're just, you're, you're, you're going to own our whole store by the time this is done. Uh, Palmetto women's uh, button-down uh, shirt here uh, size medium sold for three bucks plus shipping thank you Sean two more going to Sean with the hangers back here uh, we've got a uh, can't, this this brand is not gonna get pronounced by me it is a star hoodie in large um, so yeah and the brand is very French sounding and I'm just gonna mess it up I'll try core de vague is my best guess uh, size large uh, and then they also bought um, this American Eagle Outfitters uh, hoodie as well in medium so for both of those together $16 plus shipping thank you Sean we appreciate it sold some more of those Harley motorcycle patches we had a whole bunch of them this is the last of them right here um, there's about uh, what are we saying? There's nine in here. So nine motorcycle patches, $11.20 for these. Not bad. We paid like $10 for the whole lot, so we're well into the pure profit there. Um, sold this nightlight. Uh, this is a web webcam. Is that what it's called? Webcam? Wellcam. Wellcam. 
<laughs> so like webcam. What a horrible name. Uh, Wellcam Nightlight. Um, I think we got this as an auction, or maybe it was an Amazon purchase that we didn't want. Um, $12.80 free shipping for that. Still have some Heritage books, and uh, they're just about gone. This is Rip Van Winkle, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. I liked this book, actually. And I saw the movie with Johnny Depp. That was actually pretty decent. I thought it was going to be terrible, but it ended up being pretty good. $10 plus shipping for this one. Um, not bad for what's left of our Heritage books. Lip Balm. It's all we sell anymore is lip balm. We're just going to turn our store into an Avon lip balm store because these sell great. Ten Avon lip balms. This is the moisture therapy for ten bucks. Free shipping. Another another heritage book. The History of Tom Jones. Right here. Not that Tom Jones. This is not the unusual to be loved by Tom Jones. Um, Five dollars for this book plus shipping. Getting through those magazines too. This is an outdoor life from May 1962. Trout on the rocks. Right there. Pretty cool. We got another <laughs> wacky cigarette ad on the back. It didn't get flagged for the last one, so we'll do this one too. This <laughs> is very crazy. The guy's sitting in the background smoking a cigarette, playing a guitar while his wife's holding the Winston. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, anyways, yeah, Out There Life. These old magazines have been great. Uh, we paid uh, $15 or something for the whole box, and this one sold for $10 by itself, so we're well into pure profit at this point. More lip balm. Again, these are flavor savers. Vanilla lip balm right here from Avon. $5.50 for five of them this time. Plus shipping. I'm sorry, free shipping on those. Sold a Ralph Lauren polo. This was a good one. It's a vintage Ralph Lauren polo shirt. Um, it's older, and it's still got a tag on it. Um, this is the winged P logo what they're calling that. Um, size large, sold for $40. Free shipping. Sold a snappy, single-handed server. Oh, so I guess it's like tongs, but not. So you, you open this up like so, and then you can take your food and put it on other people's plates. <laughs> $8.40 free shipping on that. Uh, sold some more Baseball cards. Melissa, I'm going to look this up, but I think you are a viewer. And I may throw in a Pittsburgh Picker sticker for you because I think you said on the last video that you didn't actually tell us. But I think this might be you. So I'm going to make sure before I do it. But uh, two of the Looney Tunes comic ball. Um, packs, and then also the 1992 Fleer Baseball Wax Packs here. Uh, all went out to Melissa for a grand total of $20.50 plus shipping. I'm sorry, free shipping on that. Um, so, yeah, we'll throw in some stickers for you, Melissa. Thank you so much. Sold a creepy baby, and this one is disturbing, especially when its head is turned around backwards like I just had it. Um, this one, yeah. This one is a antique Mo Morana Brothers, um, bisque, creepy baby, yeah, just, it's terrifying in every way. It's missing a hand, legs are all kind of wiggly, um, yeah, just disturbing. $36 for, for this little girl here, or guy, whatever, I don't know, we got a hole in the head, so, I don't know. More lip balm. This is Avon Dukis. We've sold a bunch of this as well. Um, $10 for 10 Free shipping. The Cabbage Patch Kid. This one we, we this one we were actually kind of surprised it sold because somebody cut her hair. But, uh, now, this is a 1980s Cabbage Patch doll um, with uh, blonde hair and dimples. Closed mouth. There you go. Right here. And she, as you can see, her hair has been cut along the bangs there. So, um, sold for a little less money, but she sold for $20 plus shipping. Next up, this is a vintage King Rose Sears men's um, red, white, and blue striped uh, shirt. And it's actually like a terry cloth shirt. Still has a tag on it. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if these are the original tags. I, it doesn't look like it was really ever worn. These things get beat up pretty quickly. But, uh, yeah, vintage shirt, $19 for this, plus shipping. Next up, another Cabbage Patch Kid. She's a newer one. 
Um, she's from 2014. Cabbage Patch Kid doll, blonde hair, blue eyes. This is super cute. Isn't she adorable? She sold for $20 plus shipping. Sold a Stretch Armstrong. This is uh, not the vintage Stretch Armstrong. It was the remake. Uh, when did they remake it? They remade it in... Uh, have a date on it? No, it doesn't seem like it. They remade it, I think, in like the early 2000s or something like that. Um, so it's not the original, but uh, $17.20. We got this in a lot of a um, bunch of other toys. They're, most of them are Amazon returns. You can actually see the Amazon uh, label still on the bottom of this thing. I can... There we go. So... Uh, yeah, it's it's a reproduction. It's probably a return. It seems to be uh, all there. So seventeen dollars and twenty cents. We paid twenty dollars for the whole lot of, or no, thirty dollars for the whole lot of toys, and we've we've worked a pure profit again on that one. Sold an Under Armour headband right here. This we got tons of low ball offers on this thing, um, and I don't know why people were like, yeah, the dollar ninety nine. One guy offered ninety nine cents for it. I'm like, come on, three dollars and fifty cents for it plus. Shipping. Hello, everybody. It's Sunday, July 18th. And uh, today, it's a little early for us. Uh, it's 3 o'clock p.m. So, um, but sales might seem a little late, but just because it's a little early. So, we'll just roll over anything after this video to tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, starting off with this, uh, we sold... Uh, Billy Joel 2008 concert t-shirt, size extra large, right there. Um, came from that lot of shirts we got from Craig's friend, $7.25, plus shipping. Sold a vintage, uh, well I guess it's not vintage, it's from the first one though, because uh, they just released one. This is a Space Jam t-shirt um, with Michael Jordan and Bugs Bunny on it, size double X. Uh, sold for $8, plus shipping. Uh, no mystery why that one sold because it just came out with a new movie. So I assume that's what people were looking for. Uh, next up, this is a Simply Vera Wang women's short sleeve textured tee right here. With, new with the tags. Um, found this, I believe, at the bins, but I'm not 100% on that. Um, size small. Sold for $6 plus shipping. Sold some... Uh, do kiss actually we sold two of them two 10 packs of the do kiss lip balm because that's what we sell now um so there's two of them here um ten dollars uh, each plus shipping so 20 bucks free shipping i'm sorry free shipping sold another cabbage patch because we love selling cabbage patches this is a 1980s cabbage patch with a corduroy jumpsuit look at that precious Brown hair, blue eyes, sold for $22.50 plus shipping. Wait. Uh, next up is a doll. This one, a little scary. This is an antique 15 inch German boy male bisque doll. Leather body. That's a little creepy. Not too bad. Uh, he's got his little boots on there and pants. Precious. Uh, $40 for this little guy, plus shipping. Still getting through those heritage books. We got uh, the short stories by Oscar Wilde right here. Uh, I promise you that's what it says. It's not going to focus on it. $5.50 plus shipping. Next up, we sold a shot glass from Idaho. It's got potatoes on it. It's awesome. Um, found it at the bin. Seven dollars plus shipping, or sorry, free shipping on the shot glass. Finally, broke the ice. I hope I hope this starts a flood because um, we have a bunch of these. These are vintage C.E. Bogart cat eye marbles. Um, we got a whole bunch of these at an auction, and uh, they have good, decent sold comps. They have decent sell through rate and. Uh, we just haven't got any any traction on them, but finally someone bought one. Fifteen dollars, free shipping on the marbles. This outdoor magazines were a good buy, and we're, I'm pleased if I could ever do it again, I will. We actually are picking up some vintage football magazines from uh, 
an auction that we want online tomorrow. So, um, love the vintage magazines. This is Outdoor Life um, from December 1961. Um, pretty cool cover. Um, <laughs> The cigarette advertising on the back again. Uh, Eight dollars free shipping on the magazine. Um, sold a, a Lou LaRoe size small gray short sleeve shirt right here. It's uh, nine dollars. Found it at the bins. Free shipping. Sold that Kermit the Frog shirt that we also found at the bins that has the awesome meter on it. Right here, Kermit the Frog shirt with the awesome meter. Uh, Four dollars plus shipping. Sold a vintage chalk line Penn State jacket. Check it out. Chalk line Penn State jacket. We got this uh, in a bulk deal with a bunch of other stuff at an auction. Size extra large, $20 plus shipping. Sold a wallet. These J. Crew wallets have done really well for us. I hope we can get some more. We have to check with a friend of ours, see if he has any more. Uh, this is a J. Crew wallet, not new with the tags. This one's actually uh, been used a little, but not much. It's in really good shape. There's not really any tearing or stretching in the leather either. Um, and then the same person bought these Adidas pants. These are uh, Adidas woven track pants, size medium. Um, these are new with the tags. Adidas pants right here. These are the swishy pants. Like George Costanza in his job interview. <laughs> $24 for all of that. Plus shipping. Hello everybody. Welcome to Monday. July 19th and uh, we got a lot of stuff that we got to go over here so uh, I am going to try and get this through as fast as possible but uh, we did have a good day so uh, starting off with this these are puppy place books there's a lot of 20 puppy place books adorable um, there's quite the stack over here 20 puppy place books $30.80 plus shipping for that. Um, sold a Nike Pro Combat Dry Fit Hyper Warm Long Sleeve Shirt. It's uh, very, very yellow. And there it is. Um, size medium. Uh, size medium, $14 for this, plus shipping. Sold some uh, plastic nail uh, art gel, let's see, plastic nail clip art gel polish remover. I guess you put these on your nails when you're trying to remove the polish. Uh, $4.80 plus shipping, or sorry, free shipping on those. Sold some Game Gear games. This is Sonic uh, Triple Trouble. Let me open them here so you can see them. So we sold Sonic Triple Trouble. And we sold Sonic the Hedgehog 2 with Tails. There's Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and Tails. Um, both come in these plastic cases. We weren't able to test them because we don't have a game gear to test them on. $13.40 free shipping. Sold some silverware. This is a set of 12 Crate and Barrel uh, Napa appetizer fork spoons and knives right here. Uh, all in this bag. All still with the tag on them. $10 plus shipping on those. So quite the bit of glassware today, as you will see in a moment, starting with this one. This is a Pioneer Woman 20 ounce glass, stemless wine glass. It says, happy birthday on it. Um, $12 free shipping for that. Sold some uh, vintage greeting cards and a, a Christmas card, apparently, because there's one on the front there. So there's some old... Christmas cards. Um, these old Christmas cards do sell for decent money, and uh, you definitely don't want to snooze on them if you see them. Um, $5.50 for those, plus shipping. Sold a record. This is the very best of David Bowie. Um, new pressing, 2014 pressing of this record. Um, it's every awesome song that David Bowie had is on this record. Actually, there's two of them in there. Um, I don't believe it's colored vinyl. No, it's not. Um, this is a good one. $44 plus shipping. This was Sarah's old hoodie in high school. She had it. A uh, vintage Roxy zip-up hoodie. Um, size extra large, pink and gray, and plaid right here. Uh, $17 for this plus shipping. I guess people are planning ahead to winter. I'm not even thinking winter exists this year at this moment, but yeah, we, we've sold some stuff um, that just 
is not going to be worn for a couple months. And I don't think it's cold in any other parts of the United States. So, like that zip-up jacket was very heavy. So, the next thing, um, I can show you the box, but that's about it because. I can't show you the glasses because I'll get flagged for inappropriate uh, stuff on YouTube. So I'll show you the box and you can use your imagination for the rest. I almost don't even need to say anything. Kind of got the picture. Um, clothes are on when it's full, off when it's not. <laughs> we got these for like a dollar at that uh, garage sale. Uh, that we bought the trains at. Um, $40 for these, plus shipping. Next up, um, one of many of these today. Um, you saw us uh, on Sunday's video uh, pick up these and we knew these would be good. These are those shatterproof or shattenproof or whatever they are, glasses. We decided to split them up into uh, lots of four of them. So there's four of them here. We get a green, an orange, a blue, and like a reddish pink color. Um, we figured it would be a little bit more profitable that way uh, than to just sell them all in like the case. So we split them up into that. We're selling four of these for $25 plus shipping. Paid $30 for the whole lot of them. So we're almost there right now. And we're going to go into the pure profit before this video is over. Um, Next up are these. Um, these are one of our more expensive pairs of Nike leggings. These are uh, Nike flash reflective um, tights, dry fit men's size, small, new with the tags. These are actually, all these like lines on the side are actually reflective. And these are quite expensive, $150 brand new. We let them go for $50 plus shipping. Next up, one of you bought something. Um, we've got Sewing Made Easy book by Mary Lynch right here from 1960. And then we also got this, uh, North American Birds book that you saw us pick up at the auction, uh, over the weekend. Um, $12.80 for both of them. And that was a viewer sale. Um, says, hi, I am a subscriber and I love your videos. I especially like the Cabbage Patch dolls. That was the one thing that got me into selling on eBay in the early 2000s. Uh, should buy, she used to buy big lots of them, sell them on eBay. Um, and, uh, that was, he, she said that was, those were the good old days. <laughs> We still enjoy doing that now, but uh, thank you so much, Christine. We really, really appreciate the purchase. I hope you enjoy these books. We'll throw in a couple Pittsburgh Picker stickers for you. Thank you so much. Next up, sold a Breaking Bad shirt. This is a, kind of a etching of, or yeah, I guess it's kind of a rough drawing of Walter White. Um, it says, I'm the danger on it. Um, just got this at the bin, $6, free shipping on it. More lip balm. This is... Uh, the Dew Kiss 10 pack this time around. So Dew Kiss 10 for $10 free shipping there. Sold a two pack uh, size long, extra long uh, Burlington Sheer um, Pantyos. So there's two of them in here, right there and there. $7 plus shipping for those. Sold some Zaraman jogging pants. Um, not new with the tags, but they're, they're brand new. They've never been worn. Um, this is, what size do we got? We got um, size medium, tapered leg, $12 plus shipping on those. Still selling through these sheets. This is a, oops, yep, no, this is the right one. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. This is a spring made, um, no iron sheet in yellow and orange. There's the orange back here. Um, $10.99 plus shipping for that. Sold another Heritage Books. We're, we're getting close to the end. This is the She Stoops to Conquer right here. This one sold for $4.80 plus shipping. Sarah went to uh, Walmart and uh, she saw some stuff on clearance and decided probably should buy some of this. Um, especially these. These are uh, Nirvana shirts. Reprinted Nirvana shirts. Um, they are $16 plus shipping on them. I told you we broke the ice finally on these. Um, these are those cat eye 
marbles that we bought so many of at that auction. We thought they'd never sell, but they are starting to sell. Uh, maybe we were slightly higher than the lowest price guy, and now the lowest price guy ran out, so now we're next in line. Uh, $16 for one pack of these, plus shipping. Sold some uh, Royal Copenhagen um, musk. We got these at a garage sale for a dollar, um, and they were, whew, <laughs> it's musky. Um, this is Royal Copenhagen right here. That is a full bottle too. Uh, $16 for this, plus shipping. So not a bad turnaround. Wow, that is strong stuff. Whew, my nose is clear now. Not my thing, that's for sure. Wow. Next up, more sheets. Just, we can't stop selling vintage sheets. We got so many of them. $8 for this one. This is a twin flat sheet. Uh, new old stock, $8 plus shipping. Had a buyer buy two, not one, but two pairs of red pants. <laughs> they got uh, the photographer. Um, these are the photographer slim fit chino pants, uh, size 32, 34, right here. New with the tags. Those are the very red ones. And then the slightly more conservative red came unfolded on me. I'll fold them up real quick. Um, these are the same, same size, same everything except for the color is more of a salmon. 32, 34 as well. So for both of those together, $30.40 plus shipping. We will be combining shipping there. Next up, belt buckle. This is a um, vintage Chambers belt, Chambers belt Company belt buckle. Uh, Bucking Bronco, horse and cowboy. Right there. Uh, $9 for that. Free shipping. We just love selling camo pants because they sell so well. This is a uh, Aeropestal camo pants, size 32, 34, um, from 1987. Sold for $12.50 plus shipping. Sold a Robert Blake V-neck orange rust lamb's wool sweater. It's an itchy sweater as far as I'm concerned. I do not care for the lamb's wool and I can't find the top. There it is. Uh, $25 for the lamb's wool sweater right here. Plus shipping. I found it at the bin so not a bad flip there. Probably paid a couple bucks for it. Uh, this, this dress uh, it's been through a little drama with us, but it finally sold. Uh, this is a vintage Castleberry Studios women's purple floral long sleeve dress. It's size 8. Uh, found it at the bins, brand new with the tags, $15 plus shipping for the dress. Next up, got some more of these. So we've got two more and two more for a set of four. These are those shatterproof glasses again. And then we did another set of them in kind of the pastel colors. We had two different color schemes, so we put all the pastel colors together right there. Um, both of those together, $50 for all eight of them to one buyer, plus shipping. These are, you guys got it. These are definitely a bolo. If you guys see these, man, they are, they, I mean, we had them on for a day and they're almost gone. And we are now in the pure profit for that deal because we spent $30 on the whole box and we've already sold $75 worth of cups. And the last for today is this. It's a Lou LaRoe skirt. Um, kind of a pink polka dot floral skirt. You can actually see the polka dots on it there. Um, Sarah found these, a whole bunch of brand new Lou LaRoe stuff at a thrift store when she was on her way to her mom's house. So that was... Uh, Pretty good find, nine dollars and eighty cents plus shipping. I think she says you pay like three bucks a piece for them, so pretty good flip. And that's it, guys. That's it for the long weekend of sales. Sorry, I was rushed today. It was a lot, and I needed to get through it quickly. I know these videos have been dragging on a little bit. Contemplating um, coming up with a kind of a line where I'm going to talk about them and anything below that line. So if it's you know, the line's $9. Anything below $9, I'm just going to skip. Uh, anything above, I'm probably going to uh, talk about. But I think that's probably what we're going to be doing going forward because these videos are getting longer and longer and longer. And soon they'll be like an hour and a half long, and that would just be awful. So, um, yeah. So that's probably what's coming in the very near future. It's just kind of a condensed version of this 
what sold video unless you guys have a big objection to it go ahead and comment down below let me know but uh, I think I'm gonna have to condense them a little bit because they are just getting very long-winded <laughs> um, so yeah and that's about it if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up I'd really appreciate it and if you haven't already we are so close we're almost to 970 and it's just it's, I know these last 20 are just gonna be the hardest uh, and the longest but if you haven't click the subscribe button for me I'd appreciate it and uh, that's about it for this week thanks so much weekend that's about it for this weekend thanks so much for watching bye good day sir